You keep asking, can I use the new Elementor editor as a beginner? Here's my answer. But first, 87% of you watch but don't subscribe. Come on, hit that button, join the gang. I drop fresh Elementor tips every week. All right, let's dive in. In the old editor, the only global tools we had were global fonts and global colors. We could tweak typography or button styles, but we always ended up copying and pasting widget styles again and again. It worked until projects got big. If you ever touched Dreamweaver, you remember the old school workflow, building real CSS systems and linking them to layouts. That structure got lost somewhere between no code and drag and drop. That's what Elementor v4 fixes. With the new v4 editor, we finally get a proper CSS system. It's built around CSS classes and variables. We can define a class for typography, add variables for color, size, and spacing, and reuse them across our website. We're not limited to a few global colors anymore. We can really build our own design system now. So yes, the new v4 editor is beginner-friendly, but in a different way. It doesn't hold your hand, it teaches you the real workflow web designers have used for years. You're not just dragging boxes anymore, you're building a framework. And that's the mindset shift. The one big thing beginners now need to learn is how to structure CSS, how to name classes properly, when to create new variables, and when to just reuse what you already have. Now, ask me your questions in the comments or watch this video next.